This is experiment four, decomposition of sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate, otherwise known as baking soda. Got my container right here. And we're gonna step you through a bit of the procedure. So um, if you've got your procedure here, um, it's uh, for me on page four, part A, decompose sodium bicarbonate. Record the mass of a clean, dry, oven safe dish. Uh, my dish uh, is here and I'm gonna record the mass of it. And my dish is 120.59 grams. There we go. And then add approximately 30 grams of baking soda. I'm gonna do my best here. It's pretty powdery, this stuff. I don't know what 30 grams is, but I'm gonna just grab about that much. So far I have about 15 grams. So I'll approximately double that. Spilled a little on my lab procedure, but do not spill any on your scale. 127, that's why I'm taking it off every single time. One fifty point two six, not too bad. Just a tad bit under. Add a little bit more. Yeah, it's a little more than thirty, but that's fine. I'll write that number down. One fifty one point eight eight. And that's before heating. Right, so now uh, the next procedure is going to be to place the dish into your oven, um, set the oven to 400, allow the oven to preheat to 400, and then, oh, put, right, so your dish is in there. Uh, once it is preheated for, uh, then leave it in there for an hour. You're gonna be heating to constant weight with a tolerance of 0 0.05 grams. That means that you're going to be heating it until you heat it, you put it back in, you heat it again, and the difference between those two post heating or with one heating in between will be 0 0.05 grams or less. And uh, there's a flow chart to help you go through this process. Now, uh, it's gonna change a lot at the beginning because the reaction is actually going on. And the reaction that's happening here is going to be on the first page of your lab. It shows you sodium bicarbonate. Um, two of them with heat that we're putting in will turn into sodium carbonate plus H2O plus CO2. That H2O, which could be liquid or gas since we're above 100 degrees Celsius, it will be gas, and that's why it's got the gas designation there. And in fact, one of the questions may ask you about if you figure out the mass uh, change, and that will be the mass of the H2O and the CO2 together. And you can actually calculate a uh, molar mass of these two gases together um, and do stoichiometry with that. Uh, for the main part of the lab, though, we're going to be uh, creating sodium carbonate. And from the mass of sodium carbonate, we'll be able to back calculate how much sodium bicarbonate we must have started with and vice versa. Um, let's go ahead and put it in the oven and we'll uh, take a little break here while that happens. This is still experiment four. Uh, I have just put my uh, dish with its uh, baking soda into the oven, allowed it to preheat, and then uh, heated for an hour. And now we're going to weigh it again. Uh, I don't know if you can 
quite see that. 143 points. Huh. It's still changing. Is it stable? It's still jumping. You know what? It's still warm. That's part of the reason it could be jumping around. Hmm. Let's try it again. Maybe not. Seems to be stabilized now. 143.31. And uh, now what we'll do is we'll put it back in. So clearly we've seen some change here. Um, when we know, so to heat it to constant weight, we heat it. Now I'm going to heat it for 30 minutes. Then I'm going to come back and wait again. Go at a cool, wait again. So pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and then we'll see if they are within the 0 0.05 grams. All right, let's come back for another measurement. So this time it has been 30 minutes in the already preheated oven. We have uh, 140.989, grams. And uh, so the difference between these two is not 0 0.05 or less. So put it back in the oven and for 30 more minutes. Let's see what happens next. Well, here we go again. Let's see if we've reached steady uh, temp or, uh, constant weight, constant uh, mass. I heated it again for 30 minutes. I actually let it cool for uh, 40 minutes because I was busy doing other things. So it is still decreasing. I don't know if you can see that number there, 140.32. Write it down, heat it again. All right, see you in a little bit. Another 30 minutes of heating at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and 20 minutes of cooling. Let's see what we get this time. So we're going to stay at the one. Oop, we went back to 30. It was going between 30 and 31. Um, I'm going to put the smaller number because it seemed to end there. Uh, although you could have put either one. We are now within plus or minus 0 0.05 grams. Uh, these are my final two values. I'm going to average them. And uh, use it as my uh, final number moving forward. In the next one, we'll talk about how to do data analysis. Uh, I did not use this last one here. <laughs> I'm happy to say. All right, more on data analysis coming up. Oops, almost forgot about this portion of the lab. This is experiment four. We're gonna make a solution that we're going to use in next week's lab. And so we're on B, preparing a solution of known concentration, something that we've done before, but we're gonna do it in a, using our new substance today. It says, uh, record the mass of a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. And I'm going to do something a little different this time. I'm actually going to put some water, my reverse osmosis uh, tap water here. And I'm going to put it in first. Uh, and it is um, clean and uh, not necessarily dry. It's got some water in it. And I'm going to put in about 20 milliliters. And then I'm going to weigh it. And... 
Oop, don't spill anything on the nice computer, please. So, uh, looking at this. Oop, let me wait for my dot to appear first. Is my dot? There we go, there's my dot. 41.96, that's going to be my first number. And I'm going to make a note. It's got some water, and uh, all we're doing is we're trying to weigh the um, sodium carbonate we've just made earlier in this experiment here. I'm not sure what's the best way to do it. Uh, I've got a spoon. The spoon actually looks a little thick. I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to try it this way. See how messy this gets. Yeah, I don't feel good about that either. Check the spoon. Ah, there you go. Spoon fits in better that way. Had a little angle with the spout. I don't know why I chose this. Did I choose a soup spoon for this? Anyway, I think it's going to dissolve a little easier if you put the water in first. We'll see. Let's see how much I've got down there so far. So we're going for 10, so we need 51.96. And we're at 44, so we still got a ways to go. Oh, hopefully that is fine. All right, let's do. So all we're doing is we're getting to 10 grams here. What's happened is if you put the um, sodium carbonate at first, then you hit it with the water. We're tending to see a little bricks of it, meaning sort of solidify. It's, it has a harder time dissolving, let's say that. So let's see how much we got in there so far. I know I got some on the side, but we'll get that down in a couple minutes. 47, so we're getting there. I think you have to do about half of what you had because I didn't do the numbers yet, but hmm, I think I got a big pellet of it down there. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh. We're good. <laughs> All right. So uh, it says 52.10. That's all I need my scale for. Put that over here. Write that down, 52.10. Yep. All right. And so now the harder question is, how do we get this stuff to dissolve? Well, we have to mix well without spilling, no inversion. So we're just shaking this, shaking this, shaking this. Swirl, swirl, swirl. And the question is, am I going to get a big clump down there like I did sometimes before? I do need to get all the stuff off the side, though. So, ooh, ooh. Feel it. It feels very warm. Something else is going on here. That's what, aha, uh -huh, that's what it is. This is an exothermic reaction. It's giving off heat, and that heat. I don't know what's happening down there. Well, 
Yeah, you know, it's getting very hot. Good. Good. <laughs> that means that lab six, experiment six, will work. Keep moving around there, see? If I move it like that, at least I get the solid moving. Otherwise, it's just sitting there. Oop. And I want it to move. Because moving is how it's going to dissolve. And it's going to take a few minutes. Dissolving takes time, apparently. Well, I think that's all we're going to do for the rest of this video, so feel free to dissolve as well with me. Oh, we're going to fill it up to 50, and then uh, fill it up. Oh! I'm going to have to transfer this to a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. No wonder it's so hot. Because what we want is we want 100 milliliters for the next uh, experiment, for the titration experiment, not 50 milliliters. It's getting there. Hmm. This is taking longer than the salt. Like I said, we've had trouble with this before. It always does dissolve. Sometimes it just takes some more time. Getting there. Oh, but there's some chunks in there too, huh? Well, patience. It's getting smaller and smaller. Yeah, it's going nicely. This, this is, it may not seem like it, but this is so much better than if you just put the uh, sodium carbonate at the bottom and then add the water.
Well, I can tell you while I'm throwing this, I can tell you what I'm going to do next. So since I did this in a 50 millimeter graduate cylinder, I'm going to go get my 100 millimeter graduate cylinder. I'm going to pour this into the 100 millimeter graduate cylinder, and then I'm going to rinse this three times. Ooh, looks like we got some bubbles, huh? What's up? Um, then I'm going to uh, do it three times. So rinse this three times and put the uh, water, the solution, into the 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. And then, oops, we're getting close. I'm going to fill it up to 100 milliliters. I'm going to put my plastic wrap on it and set it aside for next week's experiment. So the key thing is that as you transfer it from one place to another, you take all of it with you. And to take all of it with you, you have to rinse this three times and then carry it over. And that's why it's good that you don't have 100 milliliters already when you can fill it up to 100 milliliters. Mm, we're getting there. Well, enough torture. Keep up the good work and get it dissolved, and we'll see you with that solution for next week.